Hey friends, welcome to Good Taker Little Coding Tutorial. This is Good Taker. This time we are going to solve little coding problem. Best time to buy and sell stock. See, you have a array for which the ice element is the price of a given stock on day i. If you were only permit to compete at most one transaction. Transaction means buy one and sell one share of the stock. Design an algorithm to find the maximum profit. So example here, you have a array input of prices, 015364, and your maximum profit is 5. The maximum profit comes from the difference of the lowest price and the highest price. That's a 1 and 6, 6 minus 1 equals to 5. You get maximum profit 5. Second example, 76431. And this time, your maximum profit is just a zero. The maximum profit is zero because the highest price here as the first day, seven. And the later day, the stock price is keep going down. And your maximum profit cannot be greater than zero. So this is a really simple modeling of a real world stock trading. You have only one transaction. And for each day, you only encounter one uh, stock price. And you know the future price of this stock. That's not happening in the real world. But the essence of the winning at the stock market is the same. That's it, buy low and sell high. Now I'm going to explain how to solve this problem. So we have an array of prices, and uh, each price is at a different date. Different date it actually is the index of this price. So in the real world analysis, we will have like a k-chart to help analyze the stock. And we will introduce a variable called max profit. So max profit is the final output we want to return for this problem. And we also will have a variable called minimum price. That's the lowest price in this array. And the max price, that is the highest price in this prices array. So minimum price is bought at the i state, max price bought at the j day. And the I, uh, max price should come after the minimum price. And the max profit is a max price minus minimum price. So for example, if we buy the stock at the first day at the same price, we can find the later date which day we can sell it with a max profit. That's a fourth day with a sixth. So if we buy the price, uh, stock at the price seven, and the max profit would be 6 minus 7 equals to minus 1. And if we buy the stock at price 1, the max profit would be 6 minus 1 to the 5. And if we uh, buy the stock at the price 5, the max profit would be the 6 minus 5. That's a 1. So our goal is to find the max value of uh, each max profit. Okay, let's go back to the problem. I'm going to demonstrate uh, how to code in, in Java for this problem. So as we mentioned, we can introduce a variable called max profit, initialized with a zero. We haven't done the trading yet, so the, we are not gain or lose any value. And we also have a variable called the minimum price to keep track of the lowest price. And we can initialize with an integer max value. We initialize with an integer max value because we haven't go to the price array. And then later, if we go to the price array, we can update this minimum price. So we can do the for loop here. We iterate the each price in this array. And we can keep updating this minimum price by doing mass.min minimum price with the current 
price. And uh, we can also, we should also update the max profit with max, the max, previous max profit, like compare the previous max profit and the current uh, price minus a uh, minimum price to get the current uh, profit. And in the end, we should return the max profit. So the code is very simple. And uh, that's it. Okay, let's click the submit button. Still process. Okay, accepted. So our solution is correct. As you can see here, there are some follow up question. Best time to buy and sell stock 234. So good taker will continue to bring tutorials for these questions. Okay, thank you for your watching and uh, thank you for subscription. This is a good taker.